Hi, Eva here. So I wanted to show you that I just purchased, which I totally did not need them, but it was a want. Uh, I love watching Jean Haynes. She's one of my favorite watercolor artists. She paints very loose and she always paints with um, Kolinsky brushes. Uh, and they're very expensive, as uh, probably you know. But I decided to treat myself to her brush set. So I got her mop from Rosemary's Brushes. That's a company in uh, Great Britain. And then I got her color, a watercolor set of three. That's the uh, three brushes that she uses the most. So it's a liner brush or rigger brush. And it's a number 12 and a number 10 round. And it came like this. I haven't taken them out of the package yet because when they arrived, the rigger brush, you know, that protective little plastic tube had come off. So there's a couple of the hairs that are a little bit stray. And then the tube on the number 12 brush goes down too far so the point is not a hundred percent you know like you know it doesn't look like the number 10 brush it's kind of a bit frayed a little bit so you know since this is very expensive i definitely want to have the i just wanted to grab my invoice i just i wanted to make sure that i i got you know the brushes in 100% working order so to speak because this set of three is $164 and then this um, mop brush is $67 so that's a lot of money in my opinion uh, for brushes and you do not need that you do not need that listen to me you do not need that my only excuse is that you know I do this for a living and I like to share what I learn with you guys and so that's kind of in a roundabout way how I justified that I all of a sudden felt the urge to purchase these brushes because I'm totally happy with the Mimic Squirrel brushes that I am painting with normally and I have tons of brushes. Again, I just want to reiterate, I did not need or to buy these, but I wanted to. Anyway, so I emailed Rosemary's Brush Company and told and sent them a, f a couple of photos so they could see how this arrived. And I just got an email back saying that I should try and soak this brush where the tip is a little damaged i should try and soak it and also i think i want to do it with the rigger brush because can you see how i don't know if you can see how the hairs are just you know a little bent out of shape so and then this brush here let's get that out and you can can you see the tip how it's got been bent there it's completely bent so i don't know if that's going to be possible but anyway they said to soak it for a couple of minutes in conditioner and then rinse it out so here's a uh, conditioner because you know those are natural hair brushes and so I'm gonna squeeze out a good amount of conditioner this is a uh, fragrance free uh, conditioner because that's what I always use and then let's just start with the little rigger brush and let's just uh, work this conditioner into the brush and get it back together again and then let that sit for a little bit and then let's do the same thing with this brush it's a little stiff because you know it has some gelatin or something in it that's what they do to it before they ship them so that the hair stay together and it's you know safe to ship them so i'm just gonna do the same thing you know, gently work this conditioner into the brush uh, hairs and then try and get that point i but let me just you know have a little patience i guess and so i'm gonna make sure that all these hairs are nice and straight and work the conditioner in really well but it does not have it doesn't seem like it has a nice a tip as nice a tip as this one and honestly for almost 200 dollars that's not good enough for me but let's just uh, then let it sit for a couple of minutes and then gently rinse out the conditioner that was that was the instructions I got and I just wanted to have it on camera so that they can see that I'm following exactly the instructions and that I opened the package here on camera so it's not like I used it and I was sloppy with them and then now I'm trying to pull a fast one I'm not like that I'm very honest so anyway so you know these things that come on your brushes once you have unpacked your brushes do not try to put them back on again because you will get a couple of hair stray hairs they're going to uh, be bent and stuff like that these are only meant for shipping just so you know because i have seen some of my students trying to put these back back on again on their brushes and then what ends up happening is like a little hair escapes and then it gets bent all the way back and it kind of it gets a real crease or whatever so it won't ever go back again so 
here this one i'm going to just gently rinse it out because it has that little bit of gelatin in so then and look how it comes back to a really nice tip again and that's of course what i want to see in this number 12 brush but i honestly feel that the very tip of the hairs there got a kink we'll see so i'm going to get back to you it said to let them sit for a little bit and then uh, went gently rinse it out so i just rinsed out these two brushes that i had treated with the uh, conditioner and now it actually looks so i'll wait until it's completely dry but it actually looks like i have a nice tip on there i'm really happy about that because i'd hate to have to send them back i mean you know across the pond and everything and i've bought brushes from rosemary and company before and been very happy with them they're a very high-end company small company and so you know i hate to be a pain in the butt for these kinds of companies they have enough trouble especially in these covid times but i'm just trying to zoom in looks pretty good i'm gonna spin it around yeah looks good so i think i think i think rosemary was right that that would solve the problem so i just thought that would be uh, nice to share with you um because if you have any i mean it, i think it only works on natural hairbrushes but if you do have some natural hairbrushes that got a little bent out of shape then a uh, conditioner you know that you use for your own hair will work on them too and now since i'm here i wanted to also open let me just zoom out again there let me open this one here which is the mop brush so that's excellent you know i think i'll be using these especially the mop brush uh, for like larger paintings and so here we are so that's attached like that and uh, let's just rinse it out so this one's soft so it doesn't have any of that gelatin in it and of course a mop brush does not have a pointy tip it's more rounded that's a little bit of a tip but you know it's mainly for applying water and big washes that's and it'll hold a ton of water of course this is also natural hair now i have in the past said and i i'll say it again and i mean it nowadays really honestly i don't feel that that there is a need to spend this kind of money on brushes because the synthetic hairs on synthetic brushes have come a long long way and they don't hold quite as much water yet as the natural hair brushes but they're more they're often easier to control they have a little bit more of a snap to them and especially if you're a beginner it's actually can be difficult to deal with the natural hair brushes just because they do hold so much water and these uh, since uh, Kalinsky brushes they, you can see it's a natural hair can you see how see not when they're wet they don't snap back and let me just try and wet one of these here can you see how that snaps back and this is the mimic squirrel which is my the ones that's my workhorse brush this is number 12 can you see how that also snaps back this is number 12 this is number 12 now you know the numbers they don't mean that much because every brand has a little bit of their own interpretation of what a number 12 is you can see mimic squirrel thinks it's this size and uh, Jean Haynes number 12 is this size so it's quite a bit bigger so this would correspond to probably more like a 14 or even a 16 in the Mimic Squirrel and I actually have I have a 16 in the Mimic Kolinsky slightly bigger around but so let's try and wet that one and also test the snap out on that one yeah it also snaps doesn't have quite as much a snap as the Mimic Squirrel but quite a bit anyway that was just a little quick demo for you or yeah of how you can revive your brushes again if they're natural hair brushes so wishing you happy painting and now i'm a happy camper because uh, looks like uh, the brushes i spent a fortune on they are going to be fine uh, and um, i'll show you a demo um, in one of the next uh, youtube videos where i'm going to use them and we can uh, see how they perform compared to what i usually use that might be uh, of interest to some of you at least so um, see you soon happy painting <laughs>